Hello again and welcome. I'm Scott Schneider, film designer, and this is Rhino's Tip of the Horn. I was recently working on a project and a colleague of mine was working on a prop and he was going through a very painstaking process of deleting holes from geometry. Now, just for this, I'm going to go ahead and hide these so that we can focus on this one panel. And what he was doing was kind of the old school, old, old fashioned way of doing it, which was to uh, untrim an edge of a surface and he would he would explode the surface and then he would uh, select the untrim command and it would delete the hole and then he'd have to go back here and he'd have to do the same thing back here he'd have to delete this surface and he'd have to untrim that and he'd do that one at a time and it was very painstaking for him to go through so what I showed him was that there's this great little tool. I'm going to rejoin this real quick here just to show that. There's this great little tool in Rhino called the delete hole command. And what a lot of people miss on it is when they run the command, they don't read the command line as they should be. And it gives you an option. Now, you, by default, it's set to deleting one hole. And that's great if you really only want to go through and delete very specific select holes. Okay. But if I wanted to delete all of the holes. If you look up at the command line here, it gives me the option to select all no or all yes. And all I have to do is click one of those holes and presto, all holes are deleted. Now, it will still run the command, still it'll be still active, and it'll ask you if you're done or if you want to undo that. And if you click undo, it'll bring them back. And if you want to continue with that, then you can again do that and right click or hit return and that will close the command and you, there you are. Now, what's interesting about this command is it doesn't just work on round holes. So, for example, I'm just going to go ahead and make a box here and cut a hole right through the middle of this guy. Okay, So I'll use my Boolean difference. Okay, and now we have that square hole there. So if I go up here and I run the delete hole command, I'll select that to all no and click on that. And there it is, it's gone. So it really doesn't matter the shape of the hole. It's just looking at the geometry and evaluating where that hole is. And basically in one operation, it's untrimming, it's joining, it's deleting the old surfaces and giving you back a nice, clean, fresh surface. So that wraps up this tip for this episode. I hope this helps and I'll see you next time.